Welcome everybody to Can't Draw Horses Club. I'm Corey, and joining me today is Katrina. Hi, I'm Katrina. Uh, oh right. You know, it didn't even occur to me to get a slideshow together for this. Oh. Can you explain what we're doing? Uh, we're gonna draw some stuff draw that's some not stuff. horses. Yeah, no, we're gonna draw landscapes today. Yeah. All right. I I uh, like to go to different parks and things, and I take a lot of pictures of not people. So, and then I like to draw them. Not people. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that could be that could be a lot of, like cryptids. <laughs> take a lot of I mean, there of might be cryptids, might in, be cryptids there. in there. I don't know. All right, so keep I mean, an eye out, chat, of, for cryptids. My, cryptids in in the photos. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I'm doing an experiment by putting my my top down camera way up. It's above me this time instead of just right in front of my face. Also, I don't know why it's like. I think the lens might be a little smudgy. It 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 looks like it's got a you've glamour. Got that, yeah, you've got that good like '80s glamour. Yeah, it's got like a yeah going on. Very, very. Soft I'm ready focus. to to sh dispense the news. Yeah. Uh, Excellent. Whereas, whereas you are more in focus. I have I have a remarkably nice camera that actually works and hopefully will continue to work the entire time. Beautiful. Even though it has not been on for more than like thirty minutes, and it's going to be on for three hours, so we'll see. Okay. It'll be fun. I scrubbed this thing. It's just. No. no, 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 same, same. All right, just have the fun, soft focus landscape. Yeah, and uh, I to hide hide the cryptids, right? Keep them secret, keep them safe. Yeah, I could draw a very soft Slenderman. Mhm. Mm Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm gonna drop my reference on the overlay. This is this is a, a screen grab from a video that I took in 2021 while I was at the beach. My reference is also the beach. What? Very different beach, I think. Do you think? I think. Unless you were on the Olympic Peninsula. It's towards the Olympic Peninsula. It is, in fact, Vancouver Island. <laughs> Oh, so it's a close beach. It's a very similar beach. They might you might be able to see the beach from the beach. Uh I think one of my other photos well no, it was too foggy that day, but I can't remember if I could see No, we were on the bottom part of the Olympic Peninsula. So uh probably not. On a clear day maybe. I'm gonna flip this over and do do some warm ups because I didn't I'm you know what? Just, just fire me now. Just, I, I should be re rejected, ousted from from horse club for just not doing anything. <laughs> Are you the criminal now? I am the criminal now. So I am just doing. Uh, I am not a. I took like some art classes. I am not a professional artist or anything like that, but I'm just doing some kind of like basic sketching to get my. Uh, sorry to inform you, but today we're both professional artists. Excellent. I can be, a, I have been a professional artist. What? I worked in a, a stained glass studio oh, for a what? while. Yeah, it was really fun and I'd love to get back into doing it. Um, Snapping glass is very satisfying. Oh yeah, grinding glass is very satisfying. Uh, using a soldering iron regularly is very satisfying. It was all very good. Burning out your nose with solder is not very satisfying. Oh, Do not no. recommend that one. No. Uh, also, the the like flux and stuff, like chemicals to change the to what is it? Oxidize the solder. I'm probably not using the right words. Um, Make it more soupy. Not well, no, the, the flux, no, the flux is for holding the copper tape onto the, 
solder and then you put some other chemical on that makes instead of like solder would be a silver color and then like you age it to make it so black it black yeah. yeah i did the non-lead one because there's two types you can use solder or you can use like lead um strips i think to like hold everything together i'm not super familiar with that one but that's not the one that i did right because there's like the lead tape you can yeah 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 but i had a friend in in high school who had a little glass studio and sometimes would hang out do that but she also had like a little a little crucible for for doing small like beadwork and beadwork is really fun too just like torching a bunch of glass and then like dipping it and turning a little bead oh that would be fun it is fun I did one glass blowing, like just one of those, like come with a group and do some glass blowing things. I haven't done that, and that terrifies me. Just the the really it's, hot glass on a stick. It it is absolutely terrifying, and you have to move so quickly because glass cools, and then it either cracks or you can't do what you need to do with it. And um, I was not prepared for how fast they move <laughs> with doing that stuff. Oh no um and nothing happened but it was just like so it was a lot especially because there were a bunch of instructors and a bunch of like different people doing stuff um and uh yeah yeah there's a lot going on a lot of very molten things happening all at once but it was neat like it's a neat process Especially when you put on like little pieces of glass to um, <laughs> like make the crackle effect. I don't oh, think yeah. I have. I don't think I have. No, it's in a container. I did a. I did a pumpkin. I did a purple pumpkin. Um, because you just put it in a mold. Like it's less. You blow it and then you just kind of stick it into a mold and blow yep. it into the mold so it expands. Um, I see some of that on Instagram. Different, yeah. different shapes and stuff like different like metal cages for like yeah big yeah, lighting like fixtures the... right uh also yeah i think i'm on board with iris of ether that i'd be terrified i'd inhale instead of exhale not that i would like oh. slurp the milkshake of molten glass up the tube it's just the gas i would just get really hot gas in my lungs and i know my I... lungs don't like that i don't know if the tubes they use are like one way <laughs> like i don't know if you can inhale I, wait you think I, I have no idea i think it's just a tube yeah i'm not sure but you have to blow surprisingly hard which i wasn't expecting like to get the glass to inflate so you're blow hard uh oh. i was once <laughs> one one time that one that one time just that one time Ugh. <laughs> I made my rocks too big. They're too big. Trying to get, yeah, the proportion on this is heckin', heckin' with me. Just do, just do, a, just do. Do, do, do your best. Just do. Just, just do. Just do. Just do. Here on Can't Trust, always... can't, can't Trust Horses Club? <laughs> they, that's a different, yeah, that's, that's a different that's, activity. That's, different uh, show. 
different show here no, on Loading I mean, Rerun. You got, you got a reference. Yeah, I do. And, you know, use it as a reference. Nope, the art cops are coming. We're... Yeah, sorry. Woo, woo, this is the police. Um, Stop your activities. Woo, woo. Um, yeah. You are under arrest for bad rock drawing. No. Those barnacles don't look lifelike. Oh, my, I have a whole, the, my reference photo has a ridiculous amount of barnacles and they're not going to look lifelike. Oh. But that's fine. I suppose if you've, if you've spent uh, an amount of time on a beach, then you, you maybe have seen some barnacles doing their barnacle thing. Mm-hmm. Being all wiggly. Yes. Instead of just wholly stationary. They are not, in fact, rocks. They're like a little, little crab thing that lives in a little house that it makes. It's wild. The last time I was, when I took the my photos that I have here, and uh, there were a lot of starfish and anemones, and I don't know um, if anyone's from the West Coast, or the specifically, I think, the Pacific Northwest, but... Uh, the starfish are orange and purple, like legit orange and purple, yep. and the anemones are like teal. Uh, I grew up on the East Coast, and we didn't have anything cool like that. We just had jellyfish and like, like shitty crabs and stuff and nasty water. But our jellyfish are boring on the West Coast. West Coast jellyfish are just like, oh, it's a little bit purpley. But, okay, but like... There's so much other, like, very cool stuff. And I definitely, this was in February, and I definitely was trying to look at the starfish and the anemones, and the ocean had other plans and got soaked up to my knees. Okay. I was like, when you said the ocean had other plans, I was like, you went into the ocean. The ocean no, took the ocean you. came. the ocean came to me. It was like, nope. Like, through... Like, well over my boots and everything. Oh, yeah. The Seattle Aquarium has great little the tide pool things. I was just there. Oh, recently. yeah. The ones you can reach in and touch stuff. Yeah, you can touch stuff. I highly recommend going on the weekday so you don't have as many tourists. Or children. children. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Children will, uh, like, the tidal pool thing, they will just... Oh, they'll just, like... Yeah, yeah. And there's no room for you with your soft, delicate hands to gently touch the creatures. Um, to treat yeah. them correctly. But, no, it's really great. I love tidal pools. Um, here's a fun fact that you don't know, Corey. I, I have a, a master's degree in environmental science. And I had considered getting a PhD and studying tidal pools. Okay. All right. So I decided a PhD was not for me. Um, but you just didn't want to go back to school. I also didn't want to go back to school. Well, when I graduated with my master's, the economy tanked. Well, one of the times the economy tanked and I was like, can't get a job now. I don't know that a master's is going to, or a, PhD is really going to do a whole lot for me. Mm. But I still think about it, though. I love title pools. And you just did. You're not even remotely using that degree. You're just. Oh, not now. I did. I used it. Uh, I used it a lot until I got heat stroke. Doing, uh, That's one of the reasons I don't go to the beach that often. <laughs> yeah, uh, I got heat stroke um, doing field sampling in a canoe in the estuary. Oh, and um, it's fun to be just out in the open water and get heat stroke. I was with yeah, I was with someone, luckily, and they're like, "Hey, uh, we need to go back." <laughs> like, why? You're like, you're slurring your words. <laughs> um, you're like, I'm not even sweaty. It's fine. No, I wasn't. That was the thing. Yeah. I wasn't hot. I wasn't. I was. It was bad. It was bad. It's bad. Um, now you decided. Maybe. Maybe you should take a break. Maybe you should take a break. So 
So I took a break that I'm still on. Still on that break. Still on that break. Also, environmental science is like really depressing. I have heard that. Yeah. Uh, stuff I was doing was was pretty good, but um, like interesting. Other than you know the heat stroke thing, but um... <laughs> which is related to why it's depressing. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess. It's loosely. Yeah. All right, okay. I'm making up these rocks now. I'm just I'm I'm preforming. I just I can't keep up with all these contours. Yeah, TXC two. Basically, all the trees are dying, and we're all fucked. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's kind of sad. So I just go look at tidal pools and be happy. Just all the little fishies and the yes, weird and stuff. the little like shrimps and stuff. little invasive also the rock fish <sighs> yeah oh there's a rock there it missed mr rock mr rock that's a Mr. Rock to you. This particular rock. Mr. Rock. Oh, right. This is the pencil I like to use. I don't know oh. how I always forget. This is a charcoal pencil? Is it just like soft? It's soft and it blends a lot. So I do a lot of like use the tip of my eraser and like like soften the drawing or like blend it and then so I get kind of like gray scales within yep. it. Um I don't remember if that's an actual I think that's an actual technique I learned. I don't remember. <laughs> I've seen people do that with like a needle bowl eraser and stuff. Yeah, I have um yeah, I have one of those but I couldn't get it to like work really well for right. me and I they have those like there are these like white sticks that's just like rolled up paper essentially. Yeah, I'm going to be making um, one of those. Okay. Yeah, I need to get some of those um to do the same thing but like a fine point. Oh, uh, yeah. Because I don't think I have any more. Or if I do, I don't know where they are. Oh, this rock is out of proportion. Whatever. This rock is just going to be here now. Yep. Here on Can't Draw Horses Club, you could just make up rocks. Like Mr. Rock. Like Mr. Rock. Well, he's not made up, but... <laughs> <laughs> I swear I have a rock in Canada. <laughs> uh, you've, you've never met him. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Well, we've made chat sad. That's good. I'm sorry, chat. It was bound to happen. Wayne Johnson's part Canadian. Huh. Might as well claim the whole thing. The Rock's Canadian now. Excellent. A 
That's how Canadian celebrity works. Oh, oh, you were born here? Oh, oh, your parents are from here? Yeah, you're 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 one of us now. Oh, you moved to Las Vegas to to have a real job? Well, I guess you're still Canadian. I thought The Rock was Newfoundland. That's a good one, Symphonic Lolita. <laughs> I feel like I should have used a bigger piece of paper. Like, have a, yeah, maybe. And this is a pretty small piece of paper. It's a pretty small piece of paper. Yeah. This is my, my favorite new little drawing book, though. There's, uh, I don't know who it is, but there's a local person that goes to the, some of the, the, weekend farmers markets and they do these they turn old books that are falling apart into a, like a sketchbook yep and the nice thing is the whole book is still here like i have the whole book still but they just put paper in it um and it's very cool and like this particular book is the first book not this exact book but this book is the first book that i learned to read on um so this is it was very special. So this is a very special sketchbook for me. And I have several others. Guess now you just got to fill them. Yeah, that's that's the goal. Because I wasn't going to buy any more because I still have some that aren't aren't filled but i found these and i was like oh i need several of these i think i looked through every single one that this person had and narrowed it down to three mm -hmm. I still have not figured out like a really good way to or like drawing water it's hard because it's, it's like very hard you can't really draw the light bits <laughs> you have to draw the yeah. dark bits yeah exactly but the light bits are where the shape is <laughs> so just kind of do my best. Yep.
yeah, I am I am fully off off the rails. Your rocks are completely off the rails. Mm-hmm. I think only one of my rocks so far is off the rails. I think you might be winning at art. No. So many, like, little tiny. Yeah, so many little tiny. So that's, many little tiny. Look the, at all these little tiny. That's so many. It is just a, a ridiculous amount of little tiny. All right. Let me get this other tree in. All right, chat. Next time I try to be ambitious, just tell me no. Just be like, Corey, you should do something easy instead. Corey, you should take take a break and relax. Just kick your feet up. Don't draw lots of tiny barnacles. <laughs> no, no, come on. Only, only. No. <laughs> Barnacles. All day barnacles. Alright, welcome to Barnacle Club. I'll get to barnacles. This rock is like all barnacles. It's not there yet. That's the thing I learned about drawing with charcoals and pencils. If you're right-handed, just start on the left side and move your way over. What if otherwise... I'm left-handed and I just want to then smudge you... everything? Well, if you just want to smudge everything, then just do, do whatever. Do what I'm doing. Do what you're doing. Just keep doing what you're doing. I had to get they have do you know they have this like spray fixative stuff for like specifically for charcoal and like pencil drawings? It makes sense it's, that they do. I've only ever seen people either like they, they use the rod to balance their hand further off the page or they mm -hmm. have like a piece of paper that they cover the work area in. Yeah, well that's why that's why these are are covered back here with like newsprint. Yeah. Um as I haven't finished those. How do you even get newsprint them. these days? Uh so my giant thing of newsprint is from when my sister was in uh college doing art okay. stuff from a very long time ago. So I don't know. The newsprint that I have is 20 years old. Um, doesn't look a day over like, 19 yeah it's it's like a 24 by 36 yeah a pad yeah an art store i think she got it at an art store okay but it's a big pad like 24 i think it's like 24 by so 36. the answer is just go to the store i think so okay um mystery solved but 
Yeah, the the fixative stuff is interesting. It's I kind of like a hairspray, but yeah. like um It's nice especially when you're doing like a really big drawing. Cuz I assume you can draw on top of it, right? Um or would you just not? I don't know if you I I'm not sure, honestly, because I would usually like finish a section and then spray that section and then move on. Oh, um, when I was doing because I did a really I actually never finished it, but it, I have this really big drawing. Um, and I've sprayed the sections that I've finished. Oh. Place are being cute. What? Wait, I just. Yeah, I used some of the newsprint for, um, like, kind of like practice drawings um, that I had when I took uh, this like semester long art class. We did a lot of practice drawings on newsprint because it was just like cheaper paper instead of using your like nice thicker art paper. Corey, I can't stop thinking about Pacific Drive now. <laughs> so what happened yesterday? What that I was playing? Yeah, you were playing yesterday. So. Yeah, so... Well, first I have to tell the story of... I went to the Olympic Peninsula for on this, this trip when yep. I got these things. And, like, two days after or something, Pacific Drive came out. And I was like, oh, cool. I love the Olympic Peninsula. I'll play this game. It'll be great uh far too real <laughs> absolutely terrifying like started screaming at the tv um <laughs> had to put it down for like two weeks yeah i i i haven't really picked it back up since since uh what was i even doing in seattle I went somewhere, and mm -hmm. then I came back, and and now I don't play that game. <laughs> it's uh, it's really just real, <laughs> like the 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 opening the opening sequence is very, like oh I just did this drive, cool. Um, but I will say it's it's gotten it's gotten a little bit better. Um, just as you get more familiar with like well also like so i figured out i am playing with my partner and i am playing um all the stuff in the garage i do all of that yeah that's fun and then and then they do the like the driving part outside and i just look for stuff oh you just sit there and watch and point at the screen yeah, <laughs> yeah. you have the, the good job because i like i started like the first i don't want to do i don't want to have too many like spoilers here um for it but they're they're like in a, in the early parts of it there was one part where i got to and i just like things started happening and i was like ah and i 
it was uh it was a overwhelming and a lot and i didn't know what was happening um yeah i'm not i don't uh i don't usually play horror games at all and this one is just real, i figured uh, it would be more like an adventure spooky. game yeah yeah that's what i thought yeah. i was like oh this is this will be fun it's like no it's I think I think I'm like kind of getting like getting a little better with it though. Like, okay, this these are the things that happen. Like, you know, be aware of this kind of stuff, and like, this is how you deal with some things. Yeah, and, you hear this um, noise. This thing is after yeah, you. Yeah, or whatever. But like the amount of things that they can do with just like sound yeah. uh is incredible like there's nothing actively chasing me and i am terrified just with just yeah it's with just like noises. oh it's raining and it's dark and it's the fog yeah. and there could be there could be anything yeah Oh right, that's probably I. <laughs> I don't know if this came up the last time we were uh, talking, but I also like. Uh, one time I was driving uh, in the rain and in the dark, uh -huh. and uh, a tree fell in my car. Uh, while I was in it, so um, that's probably it's why probably related I, in some way. <laughs> might might be might be related to why I uh, had such a huge response with that, which I'm just remembering now. It comes up from time to time. It's like, well, why don't you like driving in the dark? It's like, oh, oh right. right. A tree fell on in me. In the rain and, and the wind. Yeah, like basically all the things that are there. Yeah. Yeah. I I was, I was com other than psychologically, uh, completely fine. Car was completely totaled don't know how i uh how i managed that well I, I you were driving and then a tree fell on you yeah well yes that is that That's is what happened, happened. But mystery I don't know solved how I managed. yeah thank you detective Corey. you're welcome that'll be five hundred dollars <laughs> yeah. oh so you're saying like you managed to not get smushed, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, also the tree hit. Um, it was a four door car, and the tree hit on the post be. right, right. Yeah. Oh, it's like the, the uh, B pillar. The B pillar, yeah, the B post. So it hit there. If it had hit like before that, it would have gone like that. B pillar took all of the brunt of the tree. Um, had it hit earlier. Uh, that probably would have been a different story. Because it put a sizable dent in that, even with the pillar. To the point where the car company was like, uh, can we see these photos? I actually, like, really want to know how the car responded <laughs> to this. <laughs> you know, it's just the engineering team being like, oh, get a load of this. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Probably. I mean, it was pretty impressive. It's not every day you get to, you know, be that impressive, right? Yeah. Not a good story to tell. Or forget until you're hit playing a video I, I, game. I, yeah. Yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't drive for like six months, like physically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it would also, it also does make sense that you would forget because, you know, your brain's just like, I don't want to do that again. <laughs> yeah. Brains are, uh... I guess my brain's just trying to protect me. Yeah. From itself. <laughs> yeah. From itself.
Oh, this rock looks nothing like the this rock in particular. F that rock. It's just kind of a mess. I've I've made a mess of my hand already, which is well, you know, as yeah, predicted. Mine... <laughs> Mine's doing okay. Hmm. Yeah, no, car pillars are great. I learned, learned a lot about the bee post <laughs> during that whole thing. Did not realize that that, that was a thing. Uh, hate sunroofs now. Oh, now that you know. <laughs> now that I know. They, I know what shatter. shattering, <laughs> shattering glass, uh, shattering gl glass sounds like. Oh man, picking up tempered glass from inside a car sucks so bad. Uh, trying to get tempered glass out of a sunroof track is impossible. Oh, just like in the in the. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. Yep. No, I have. Uh, I have. I have follow-up car stories, but I'm not going to make chat sad again because I've already done that enough. <laughs> I lived through everything. But I don't want to make chat sad. Oh, no. All right, Hosk. Yeah, that's that's a reasonable <laughs> suggestion. Have the U.S. Army Air Force use that rock for bombing target practice in the run-up for World War II. Yeah, that'll that'll do it. Let's go back in time, Hosk. <laughs> if that is your real name. <clears throat> This rock is just gonna kind of become something a different the rock it's always wanted to be yeah sure it's like uh what is it michelangelo like you you remove the stuff that's not part of the 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 final image you have to, you have to find the, the statue within the rock yeah yeah Can use classic painters as an excuse for all sorts of things. Sure. Hmm. Psychic reflection of the rock. Yes. We're gonna see that rock's soul. The rock's most intimate details. That sounds like something out of Pacific Drive. <laughs> I don't know, it makes me think a little bit maybe of, um, there's a, a Larry Nevin anthology called Draco's Tavern, which is about a spaceport on Earth. Mm -hmm. uh, and one form of the aliens are just these like really slow moving rocks. And so they, they appear in like kind of the background of some stories because they're like really slowly trying to get to this bar that this guy runs. And and other people don't always know that they're like living things. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. It's cute. It's very slow, sentient life. So not like like weeping angel. 
Well, that would be fast, I guess. That's, that those are really fast. That. But a little, but a like, little like weeping angels. But if the weeping angel looked like a rock, and rocks, was right? was moving, but just so slowly you didn't notice. Okay, instead of you just don't, you, they only move when you don't see when you're not looking yeah. at them. So, are weeping angels rocks, or are they just look like rocks? Like it's an entity, right? Like it it's is. A, uh, do they have like innards? Has anyone smashed one? Rocks when observed. They look, yeah, they look like stone statues, but right. I don't know if like, they're like... Because they've even got like the marbling veins or cracks and stuff sometimes on their face as part of the effect. Yeah. And I, I, one of the characters got angel sand in their eyes once or something like that. Oh. That seems bad. Unknown otherwise. Yeah. Like, I assume they'd be cold to touch. Can you... Can you touch a weeping angel? Well, if they can't move when you're looking at them, they're like boobs. In Mario, like, you can just poke them. Right in the eye. Mm. Right in the little rocky eyes. <laughs> you can stick a finger I mean, in their I nose. I don't think I'd want to, but... Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, oh, I didn't. I true. didn't. I didn't mean that you would get out unscathed. <laughs> yeah, you would. You would get uh, like transported or back whatever in time because they, they, they eat do. entropy. Yeah, something like that. Time stolen. Time you sucked. Time sucked. Yeah. You get time sucked off. Little teethy angels. Ugh. Ugh. I'm not trying to only talk about scary, like, terrible things. Does it count if they touch you through clothing? Or do you have to be, like, does it have to be flesh oh, to flesh? Yeah. No, I think it's they just touch you at all. But how do you not boop the snoot? I mean... I've never booped a marble statue, but I would. If it wasn't an angel, I would. <laughs> but if it was an angel, you'd be like, oh, oh not, not not this time. No, there's, there's like, you know, places in my neighborhood that have, you know, not a lot, but those little, like, garden angel statues, the little ones. Little garden and I'd, angels. I'd, Cannot stand them. <laughs> like, that thing is going to get me. What about gnomes? You fine with gnomes? Oh, gnomes are fine. Gnomes are fine. They're not going to get you? No, no. They, that's not what they do. What do they do? Tend to your garden? What about the ones that are, like, fishing? Or in the little Fish outhouse? Fish in your garden? <laughs> Poop in your garden? <laughs> Authentic gnome fertilizer. Yeah. Oh, Grickle animations are great with the, the hidden people. Have you seen that, Corey? I have not. I don't know have you a lot played, of Grickle. Have you, oh, have you played Puzzle Agent? No. Okay. Uh, I highly recommend Puzzle Agent. It, there's Puzzle Agent 1 and 2. Okay. Um, it's, uh, I forget the artist's first name, but his last name is Grickle. I, and... I know Grickle. I just, I don't know. Okay, really... yeah. He does a series, um, or just does like these hidden, or I think they're called Hidden People, they're red, uh, they're gnomes with like big, tall red hats and they're red. Graham Annabelle. Yes. Thank you. Um, Grickle is the book, the art book, I think. Sorry if I'm not speaking correctly. Uh, 
anyway, they're in they're in Puzzle Agent and they're fantastic. Okay. But if you like if you like games that are like puzzle games, um it's a good it's on Steam. It's not it's not recent. It's like I want to say like 15 years old maybe. Oof. But it's good. I really enjoyed it. All right. I'm going to start rolling up a smudge stick. Ooh. I'm just stealing a piece of my notepad paper. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Whee! I never thought to make my own smudge stick. Yeah, it's just paper. Yeah, like, it makes sense. I just never thought about doing it. Oh, I forgot the clouds. Mm. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna use... My eraser tip. All right, we are basically at break, so I'm just going to show my progress off and stuff. Look at those rocks with those barnacles. The rocks with barnacles. Very smooth rocks. Yeah. Soft rocks. Soft rocks. Oh, we're zooming in. Yeah, no, oh, I have enhance. the capability now. Enhance, enhance. Enhance. There, we'll enhance to there. That's basically... Finished enhancing. I have done a portion. One quarter portion. No, uh, we'll be back after <laughs> some commercials. So sit tight, everyone, and enjoy whatever happens during the commercial break. Welcome back, everybody, to Can't Draw Horses Club. Today, Katrina and I are drawing landscapes from like photo references that we took ourselves on cameras yes in real life in real life i mean mine's uh, a still from a movie that i took that i was that filming so i had to like find the waves crashing against the rocks in a nice way yeah uh, and then you've got also the shoreline, shoreline in the same vicinity together. on earth yes actually same general vicinity. Same general vicinity. Same bat time. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, I have no idea. This Mine's from 2021. Oh, mine's from this year. Well. So, different bat time. Different bat time. Same ocean, though. Oh, yeah. Same ocean. Yeah. Same bat coast. Yeah. All right. Almost time to work on the big barnacle rock. I'm pulling up my, my, my dark pencil for dark Ooh. times. Oh, yeah. 
That's a smell. <laughs> Does your dark pencil smell? I just sharpened it. Oh, okay. But yeah. It does smell <laughs> like does it, it's like those markers that you do they still make those markers? The scented ones? Yeah. I like don't the know. Specific, the specifically scented like fat markers from like the, the brown, like, yellow, orange, green. Yeah. Yep. Red. The ones that are like, oh I want to eat this marker. No. Don't. I mean I mean no, don't I do yeah, not recommend don't. eating markers, but they were scented like um, like candy and stuff. Orange smelled so good. I think red was always my oh. favorite, but I was always a fan of cherry. No, no, cherry freezies, candies. lollipops, markers. I would only eat the orange ones. Oh, I was always always red. I think if it was cherry, always red. Ah, uh, not strawberry. Sometimes strawberry was less uh, uh, consistent with flavor. Consistent, okay. I, I I noticed sometimes it was okay. Cherry seemed to be pretty consistent with like good flavor. Oh, Mr. Sketch markers. Yeah. Oh, awesome. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, that's what the ones that I'm thinking of. It came in that nice big pack. Oh, just to derail conversation a little bit, uh -huh. I have a question for to Emily in chat, because during Talking Sim, uh, the book Smooth City was recommended, but the week after, I think Tamily posted, did a, if I if I or asking if I had seen a review of Smooth City, but, uh. Can't remember if I was supposed to just read the book or the review. So yesterday I, I chickened and uh, got Kim Stanley Robinson's Aurora instead. Because I needed something to read. Because what I was reading was garbage. Just a little bit too much garbage. So. It's still in the back of my head. I just, I I don't remember if I'm supposed to read the book. Or if it was a recommendation for a book or a specific review. Because I didn't. I didn't put that in my reminder. Because I'm smart. What was the garbage? Uh, something something resistance mage. Did, I think I returned it. Oh, I just bought... It might not be garbage. It might be amazing. I just bought a book that looks like it could be garbage but also looks like it could be amazing. And I saw it at like local bookstore um, Instagram. And I was like, oh, I just need to know. I just need to buy this and know. Yeah. Yeah. I can get it and show you the cover. Like, okay. Hold on, hold on a sec. All right, I'm going to embiggen you. Okay. No. Oh, yeah, up in front of your face. Oh. So this is this is the what I saw online. And I was like, yep, got to have yeah. that. Got to know. Yeah. Got to know what's going on here. All right. I have not tried it yet. <laughs> or have not read it yet, but it's on my list. I do like, you know, the not paranormal romance, the... Uh contemporary fiction like set set in the real world but there's mm -hmm. magic yeah the people have like, like cars the, and stuff the tagline is the magic is back but can california handle it right like 
it's the Wizard of Speed and Time. I'm like, what's going yeah. on? No, I, I, uh, I'm very interested. Oh, maybe it is about basketball. Although, maybe Thor is playing basketball. Or this Thor-like character. The only thing that, that I don't love... Uh, the back of the book, yeah. uh, if I may, says, Imagine that a shy graduate student has discovered the legendary necklace Brisengamen, whose yep. wearer bears the power of the goddess Freya mistress of love and war imagine that freya's enemy loki uh has come to san francisco to steal it back so that he can release his fiery reign of terror right now imagine that only karen can stop him who's karen i don't know together her, with her unlikely allies one-eyed biker a red-bearded carpenter and a spinsterly tarot reader karen must follow her enemy to a twilight world of myth and magic not unlike our own where apparently california also exists well she's probably from california i guess but also what did tarot readers do why is there a spinster i one-eyed biker red-bearded carpenter and a spinsterly tarot reader and karen and karen and Karen. Karen's there I, too. Yes, DXC2. Maybe Karen is just going to complain to Odin until Loki leaves. <laughs> I don't know. I will. I will report back. Thank you. Yeah. And let you know. I'll put that on the top of my list. Yeah. Concerned citizens need to know. <laughs> garbage 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 oh the one-eyed biker maybe the one-eyed biker is odin that makes sense of course who would be the red bearded carpenter and the spinsterly tarot reader well i then you've got like a maiden mother crone thor? oh thor thor so would maybe... be the spinster but like this yeah, it was the spinster. <laughs> like it looks, it's not Thor, but so the on the cover there's this horse who I've just noticed has six legs. That's Sleepner. Okay, and then who's ever on the horse has a raven and a sword, not a hammer. I'm not super up on my mythology. How many eyes does the rider have? Well, I can only see one, but I don't see an eye patch unless it's one of those eye patches that doesn't have a strap. Mm. But this person has a red beard, but they don't they don't appear as a as a carpenter would. You although don't think I'm they use that, that sword to chop trees? I, they could it could be a carpenter. This this human could be a carpenter. Could be a carpenter a with carpenter. a six-legged six-legged horse and a raven and a sword. Maybe. All in California. Now I completely lost where I was. It's fine. Uh, you were fine. somewhere towards the left, going right. <laughs> thank you, thank you, got it. I remembered. <laughs> excellent excellent oh yeah no lady lumberjacks that use swords there i follow one on instagram uh and i can't remember her name and she lives in california or not california canada and she's pretty amazing it's quite strong yes like remarkably strong and usually wears like a flannel with the sleeves cut off uh-huh yeah
Yeah, sorry. Sleepner is Odin's mount. That's why I asked how many how many eyes the rider had. Because if there's a raven, then that's Odin. If it's Sleepner, yeah. that's Odin. But, but if he's both eyes, yeah, I don't know. He's wearing a little Viking hat. A little Viking hat. Yeah. So you know uh, he's I can't a Viking. Tell. I, he has a red beard, but I can't tell what. Um, I can't tell his other eye. So. Yeah, it's a book called uh, Brizengamen or Brizengamen that I got from a uh, used bookstore based solely on the front cover. Oh, yeah, I think that's, uh, oh, how do you say your name? Nicole Conan? Yeah, well, yeah, Nicole Conan, well, Nicole, I was the chat user, I didn't, um, but yeah, I think that's the, the lumberjack lady. In very Niala awesome. is the chat person. Niala, yeah. Thank you. Also, long-time viewers of uh, Loading Ready Run might be prepared for any pronunciation of their names. Okay. Oh, Yaka, have you not seen the Lumberjack lady? She splits uh, a lot of logs. And she has a, a cute dog. I bet she could use her long, strong arms to pick up anybody. Honestly? Just very strong arms. And uh, she knows it. She's uh, very aware of... Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's very aware of... What of the what audience the, wants. Yeah, what the internet enjoys. I think she did something uh, once with like eating pancakes with maple syrup off a log with a sword or something mm -hmm. it was pretty great i don't know i'll watch all of her stuff <laughs>
I have to figure out how I want to draw all these little barnacles. I'll draw the little circles and then put in little dots in the middle. Yeah. Because, like, mine are... There's some barnacles, but there's a lot of, um, I think, mussels. Oh. There's, a, there's, like, a layer of anemones. And then, I think, barnacles and then mussels. I guess start at the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Start with anemones. Start at the anemones. Start at the anemones. And this little starfish. I feel like I shouldn't have chosen a photo with so many tiny details. And maybe we'll just kind of pretend. Uh huh. So these are all little creatures. We're going to pretend. <laughs> hanging out on this rock. Yep. Doing their thing. Cast in shadows individually. Waiting for the tide to come back in. And save them all. <laughs> so they can eat some little things floating around in the water.
Hmm. I'm glad I chose like five photos in case it was like, oh, I'll, in case I get through this one, I'm going to just like move on to a different one. Uh -huh. Not remembering how like long it takes me to. <laughs> Do a drawing. A little bit time consuming, yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Now I have my next couple drawings picked out. Yeah. You ever just look up and see the sentence? That's just an AU where Shrek got with Dragon instead of Donkey from a uh, moderator of the channel TXC2. And <laughs> also TXC2, Corey, don't read chat. Uh... <laughs> huh. I was just like, I'm just drawing articles. I was looking up here. What's going on in chat? Let's have a look, see something. Yeah, huh. <laughs> let them cook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I should definitely leave that alone <laughs> and not <laughs> not put you on a blast. <laughs> Yeah, you kids haven't been experimenting with fan fiction. You know, Iris of Ether, uh, why, why, why are you making it so hard uh, for people to convince you to 
make a Barney homunculus. It should be the easiest thing in the world, right? That's just... That just generates itself, doesn't it? I feel like Barney already is kind of a homunculus. I was never a fan. Yeah. I liked Barney. I Rather, I like the... There's a yellow triceratops, right? One of the sidekicks. I think I was just, like, a little too... Like, I just missed the Barney window. Like, uh, I was a little older. Yeah, no, I was right in the Barney zone. of the age that uh, you would sing rhymes about killing Barney. Oh, I remember those, yeah. 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 But I was never like... Like, I knew of Barney. But it wasn't really... But you on weren't my, a like... friend of Barney. No. And I don't know if it was one of those, like... I'm older than the demographic and I'm too cool to appreciate this. Well, how did you feel about Teletubbies? That was that was definitely out of my yeah. zone. I didn't really have I don't think I had a Sesame Street feeling. So I was super on board with Sesame Street. There are certain songs from Sesame Street that, like, will, like, almost cripple me with nostalgia. Oh, like what? <laughs> like the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 7, 8, 8, 9, 10, 10 11, 12. 11, 12. And the, uh, the orange singing uh, Carmen. <laughs> the orange with, like, the rubber band mouth and... Um, I forget what the eyes were. I don't know. There's, there's, it's wild. Yeah, they did some wild stuff. It was great, though. Like, every once in a while, something will pop up on, like, my Instagram or my, um, like YouTube or something, I'll be like, oh no, and I'll watch it like five times in a row. <laughs> oh, like new celebrity appearances and stuff like that? No, just like the old, the old, the um, old stuff. Oh, you just want old, that hit. Old, yeah, no, I just want that hit. The <laughs> old, <laughs> the old Sesame Street. I'll be like, oh no. Yes, I would like one unit of nostalgia, please, directly in my yeah. eyeballs. Mm hmm. I know there are other ones I honestly can't think of them off the top of my head, though. To Emily says, Sweden didn't get Sesame Street. We had a shout about a guy in a bear suit who lived in an abandoned warehouse in the woods. And that's not like Bear in the Big Blue House. Was the guy, was it about a guy who also was in a bear suit? Or was it just like the bear was the character or the guy was the character? An abandoned warehouse in the woods. That does not sound like a children's show. It does sound like a children's show. I don't know. After Bananas and Pajamas, uh, anything's possible. Yeah. 
I I knew about bananas and I had a, a younger sibling, so um, he was definitely aware of other stuff. Right. I could still sing the bananas in the in pajamas coming down the stairs song. Well. I don't want to. <laughs> I only know that one part. I I would just sing that like over and over. Oh, do you do that too? And just like it loops the one bit that you yeah, know. Yeah, just the one the one bit I know just loops. Yeah. I don't know like any. I don't know if I actually ever watched the show or know anything about it other than that one line of the song. I think the bananas have like English accents. Okay. And their names are B one and B had... two. Oh, I didn't know that. They had the the pajamas were blue and white stripes. Yep. Okay. And they did, in fact, go down the stairs. Okay, that's that's all I remember. It's probably all you need. <laughs> I I watched a lot of. We're going to talk about nostalgia. I watched a lot of David the Gnome. What? David the Gnome. I don't know. It was on, uh, was it Nickelodeon? Chat, can you help me out? Does anybody remember David the Gnome? It was, I feel like this, this was part of my, like, environmental, yes, David the Gnome, okay. Okay, all right. Nick Jr., okay. Um, I don't know where I originally started watching it, but it was, like, david and his wife and they had a fox named swift and they just did things to protect the forest and help the forest animals and the forest creatures and like it was very like it was very felt very like 80s environmental kind of cartoon mm. oh yeah his wife had purple hair god maybe that's why i love purple hair so much she's just imprinted on purple i think so the only reason mine's not purple right now is because I'm getting it redone soon, and I have to let it let it clear um, so it doesn't yeah. interfere with like the bleaching. Yeah, yeah. Environmental gnome. Our environmental show was the little flying bears. Um, oh, I didn't hear about that one. Like it wasn't environmental, like Captain America, but I feel like it was like like the forest is a nice place, and you know. We should protect its animals and protect the trees and that sort of thing. And maybe I'm completely misremembering, but that's that's what I got out of it. <laughs> Captain Planet? No, I'm not talking about what Captain if... Planet. Oh, did I say Captain America? Oh, uh, I don't know. Maybe. I wasn't listening. Maybe yes, I meant cat. Whatever I said, I meant Captain Planet. I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry. He's a hero. Yeah. We take pollution down to zero. We're bad guys who want to. Yes, they rub noses under. instead of kissing. I love that. I feel like Steve Rogers would be pro environment. You know, he might actually be opposed to ice caps. He might want those to melt as, <laughs> as quickly as possible. Uh, to be determined. All right, I'm going to pick a different picture. Okay. I'm done with my ocean. Okay, I'm going to keep 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 on keeping on with this one. Let's see if I can finish it. Ice Cap saved his life, and that's why we call him Ice Cap to this day. Ice Cappuccino joined the Avengers in 2000. What are you going to draw next? I don't know, because the other reference photo I, I took a snapshot of is also the ocean. And may involve some barnacles. <gasps> More barnacles. Right? 
But what if I didn't? What if you didn't barnacles? <laughs> what if I didn't? Are we both laughing so at Hosk? You're laughing at Hosk, yes. Yeah. Yes, we're both laughing at Hosk. Thank yeah. you, Hosk. Thanks, Hosk. <laughs> a barn of barnacles. A barnacle of savings. I had a barnacle once. I took a, a clamshell home and put it in a fish tank I had. And then uh -huh. somehow the barnacle was okay with the fresh water. And put its little feelers out. Wow. And scoop scoop the foods. Bucky Barnacles! Yes! Ice cap and Bucky Barnacles. <laughs> it's like the Winter Soldier, just he's covered in barnacles. Is this like like Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy? Yes. Kind of thing? Kinda. Except Except very different. Cap Captain America's still frozen. And and Bucky is covered in sea life. It's a drawing, Corey. <laughs> All right, I'll pull up. Pull up reference of uh, Bucky Burns, the Winter Soldier. Wait, do I want <laughs> the one from the movie? Bucky Burns. Because I kind of like some of the card art that's on. Um, Snap. Marvel Snap. Now I'm getting annoyed with barnacles, even though I said, oh, I just finished this. Yeah. Hubris. Mm-hmm. And I could switch to the other photo I have that's not, that is, well, it's not the different ocean. It's a lake in Florida. Lake. It's a lake. It's a different ocean. I mean, it's very different water. It has cool cypress trees on it. This part of a man doesn't matter. Whatever gun. Oh, I forgot about this other rock. Whoops. Oopsie doodle. Crimes. Rock crimes. So many, so many rock crimes today. 
Today is crime day on Can't Draw Horses Club. That's how I'm choosing to justify drawing Bucky Barnes instead of a landscape. <laughs> Landscapes? Well, what if you draw a landscape behind Bucky Barnes? That would count, right? Probably. Just put a tree behind him. <laughs> <laughs> it's a landscape it just happens to have Bucky in it I'm trying to help you do your crimes <laughs> stop helping <laughs> yeah the tree's name can be Groot that's that's not even the same universe but well, it's it fine is, kind of is it yeah I don't remember I'm sorry the MCU I don't... is the MCU is is it the same I couldn't I'm sorry I don't <laughs> I'm not sort of really up on that at all So who's in, wait, who's in the other, sorry, chat, I don't know. The So DC is like Batman. Batman and Superman, right? Yep. Justice League. Okay. Justice League. Okay. Guardians are in the MCU. Okay. Belt of coaches. Oh, Wonder Woman, right, in the Flash. Does the MCU have a ton more? Or is it just more, like, they're just making more movies They have recently? a ton more. Okay. Because it feels like there's, like, a hundred MCU characters and, like, five DC ones. I'm sure yeah, that's that, not... they've, that they've decided to monetize. Yeah, okay. CW superhero shows were all DC. I don't think I watched a lot of superhero shows. I was watching a lot of like cute animal, animal. animated animated things like the Wuzzles and the Care Bears and um, the get along gang. I'm probably showing my age now. Never. I don't even. Did you have any of those in Canada? Uh, yeah. But I'm the wrong age. We got a lot of the same TV stuff that America got. And then also care. all I of didn't... our weird French stuff. Hmm. You didn't have creepily realistic puppets, did you? Uh, no. Although, we had the, um... They weren't creepily realistic, but the, the, the Dumbo puppets? They were, well, they were more like fursuits, I guess? Um, they had a Dumbo, it was, it was vaguely Dumbo related. And I think it was just called Dumbo's Circus. And they would fly, like Dumbo would fly them to different places. And they put on a circus and they had like, it wasn't any of the characters from the movie. The movie, except for Dumbo, I think. And he had his little yellow feather that he used to fly. But then they had other like circus performers and they just did circus stuff and like you know there was a, a moral back when the shows had like a theme and a moral and like 
oh, this thing happened and we learn about friendship today and that sort of thing. Honestly, I don't know if, if cartoons still do that a lot or if they're just like. I don't know. I haven't really watched a random, like, Disney a random story in a while. Yeah. Oh, was that? Yo, that was all Disney Channel stuff. Yeah. Watched a ton of the Aladdin cartoon. Hmm. Did you play the Aladdin Super Nintendo game? Yes. Yeah, the one that was just really... impossible. Did you play the Lion King Nintendo yes. game? Yes. The one that was just impossible. Yeah. I think I still have it. I think I still have it in the closet downstairs. Should see if it still works. Oh, Texan Reverend, yeah, I definitely watched Gummy Bears, DuckTales, Tailspin all the time. Lots, lots of Gummy Bears, DuckTales, and Tailspin. Mm hmm Yes, I missed Disney Afternoon. I wanted to have the little air scooter thing that Oh, Kit that had. Kit, Cl Kit yes. Cloud Kicker had? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Rescue Rangers, yes. Oh, Gadget was amazing. I wanted to be Gadget. <laughs> yep like only like strong female character <laughs> one of the few America. What if you put Captain Planet there instead? But 
I'm putting him in a block of ice, so... Oh, okay, okay, okay. I feel like every time I do a landscape, I start off on the left side, very much intent on replicating like the photo that I wrote, my reference photo. Yeah. And then by the time I get to the right side, it's like just sort of a like, well, this is generally what's going on. So I'm kind of going to like use that, but not really. Right. actually be intent on replicating it. Thanks, Amelie. I am. I have started doing this way so that I don't smudge my drawing, because um, I'm using a lot of like very soft pencils and charcoal pencils. But also your photo is just a reference and you can do whatever you want with it. Yep. That's what I'm banking on here with Ice Captain. Ice Captain and, and Bucky Barnacles. Bucky Barnacles. in the background see there you go instant landscape it's tree perfect beautiful
Here they are, everybody. Love it. They fight crime. <laughs> Environmental crime? <laughs> or just regular super crime. crime? Super crime. They fight super crime. Is it a barnacle arm? Yes! The system it's works! Bucky, it's Bucky Barnacle. It's Bucky Barnacles. And Ice Cap. Yes! Alright. And with that, I think it's time for me to take a break and wash my hands again. Because <laughs> there was an incident. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> See you soon, chat. <laughs>
There are a lot of trees in this photo. Lots of moss, but different moss than here. The span, the, I think it's Spanish moss, not the good green moss that we have here. The hanging moss, the stuff that makes it look creepy. Old man beard. Yeah. That kind of moss. Yeah. Alrighty. So what's in your landscape, Corey? A weird doorway. Okay. Yeah, I'll put a tree in there. In the doorway? Yeah. It's a little tree. Nice. Is it scary door? I don't know. What would be scary about a door? I don't scary about a door. Uh oh. Hey. Am I back? Yep. There. I don't know what happened. Camera got EP. Nope. Yeah. Again. Maybe it's getting. What are you doing, camera? All right. Let me unplug for a second here and see what's going on. Are you okay? Camera? Why do you say that you don't have battery? You are plugged in. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, I need a different cord. One sec. Okay. One. <laughs> All right. Let's see.
Nope, it's not the right cord. Uh. Wow, do I not have one of these cords? Maybe. All right, hold on. <laughs> Holding. I've entered the horse club holding pattern. Currently holding. I think there's one in another room, so I'll be right back. Going to another room. A journey beyond sight and sound. We've entered the horse dimension. Woo! Nope. Nope. Why? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's see. Why don't I have, let me check one more thing and then we'll just try to switch cameras. Oh, okay. Okay. So I can't find the cord, All right. which is what happens when you borrow someone else's stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know where they keep everything. So. I don't have this cord, which is really weird. I have every other USB, so I'm going to have to switch to my phone. All right. Uh, Would you like to go to like a commercial break screen or something or do it live? Uh, we can do it live. I can do it live. Let yeah, me... it's not going to break anything. Okay. It's, it's safe. Okay. Sorry, chat. All right. Oh, this is enrichment for chat. They like it. All right. So if I... Let's see what happens if I do. Okay.
All right. Well, learned my lesson there. Find the correct cable next time. All right. Oh, now I have to find it. Doing it live, doing it live. Do, 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 doing it live. That could be a new song. Do, 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 fix it and post. No, I don't want to turn off the phone. Oh, I'm going to have to mute the, oh, it's already muted. Okay, start. Nope. Oh, I should end this. Fair. That's probably why it didn't work. Do you have, okay. Mm -hmm. Go this way. Go that way. Yeah. Stay that way. Oh, oh God. God. Oh, oh, God. Oh, we're, oh, oh, we crashed. Ah. No. I've broken everything. No. Crimes. So many crimes. The humanity. <laughs> okay. Can you, you can still hear me? Yes. Okay. Can you see the thing? Yes. Okay. I'm using my phone so it's not as good. I don't have the zoom power. You want anymore. me to make it zoomy? Just crop uh, it into the, the Yeah, paper. that would be great because I can't really right. get any closer without screwing up. Chat's not going to be able to hear either of us for a second, but this should be pretty quick. I did it. Yeah, excellent. That's what we got. Thank you, Corey. You're welcome. Thanks for being patient, chat. I'm going to fix all my technological problems. This is my first stream. <laughs> so I would have been amazed if I had everything would have worked. You haven't even been to like Desert Bus? No. Hmm. I've watched a lot of Desert Bus. Well, I had to learn. Thanks, chat. I had to learn how to uh, use two cameras on on a thing. I had to find two cameras, use two cameras, and then learned of all my internet crimes and uh, fix those. So we're doing it. Ah, chat. Well, uh, Loading Ready Run does an annual fundraising event. I mean, the Desert Bus community and work group does a yearly fundraising event. There are several people who work at Loading Ready Run that also volunteer their time for Desert Bus for Hope, which is a fundraising thing for Child's Play. And uh, we play bus game. And we don't stop. And it don't stop. And it don't stop. The bus is forever. That is what Desert Bus is. Thank you for asking, chat. <laughs> I will say I have participated, but not on stream. 
in Desert Bus. I did a number of um, uh, craft along items in the past. I did a number. I did a number. Um, I I made uh, a double clicks um, bag one year. Mm. This was oh, what year was that? Two thousand. <laughs> yeah, I mean two thousand, but uh, probably like ten years ago. I 14? made a Tetris bag. Maybe I remember the Tetris bag. Okay, the Tetris bag that I did. Um, some fabric art of some of Featherweight's drawings, the uh, lava bears, and then I did a BB-8 and Ray fabric art. So, having you on the drawing show doing drawing might have been a mistake, and we should have done sewing. Uh, I haven't done that kind of sewing in a while, but we can do sewing. I have this nice table behind me uh there the white thing um that would be we we could do sewing we could definitely do sewing in fabric art i mean if ian gets to do music on tinker taylor i could probably do sewing on horse club hey we could make landscapes you know in fabric i love that. i've seen quilts with that yeah i will do like the stuff that i would do is just like not a quilt but just taking like scraps of fabric and like putting them together and making kind of a landscape and like kind of i would sew it with a sewing machine excuse me a lot of people do um that like hand sewing i've seen right but but yeah i'd absolutely be down with that i also like would love to make a quilt sometime just something i have not tried yet so you just need an excuse yeah i just need a uh an instigator i guess an enabler maybe and a, yeah that one an enabler words you know Angel volunteers. Excellent. Thanks, Angel. My work here is done. <laughs> what is the dog's name? You know, oh, crap. I'm not. I can't remember. Um, this is awful. It's okay. It's so, not your dog. It's not my dog. Um, and it doesn't want to be my friend, which is weird. It is an old, my neighbor has an old dog, uh, like a, wow, I'm really having trouble with words right now. Mm -hmm. Um, This just happens sometimes. Are you looking for the type of dog or? Yes. Uh, German Shepherd. Now, there we go. Yay. A German, German Shepherd like dog. Territorial. Um, yeah. So basically just like anytime it hears a noise, it's like, hey, hey, what's that? But does not really care. And um, I will like say hi to dog and be like, hey, you want to be a friend? And dog's like, eh. It doesn't really even want to look at me. So I think the dog is just kind of like in that, like, I'm old and kind of grumpy and um, just like to kind of bark at some stuff. And that's fine. Dog's doing its thing.
Well, if we did sewing, it wouldn't be before June. That's fine. So you have time. Time to re relearn. Mm -hmm. I started. I started altering, doing some like very minor clothing alterations. Okay. Uh, meaning like putting collars on, like taking collars off of t-shirts and putting on new collars uh, kind of thing, making my own binding. Um, I am hoping to like take some plain t-shirts and like put some like kind of applique little like stars and bats and things on to make them more interesting stars and bats well not necessarily at on the, the same, same so, time i mean it can be those are the patterns that i drew and cut out so far were stars and bats but okay. i'm going for like stars and bats and moons and things like that but for nighttime creeping yeah i mean it's basically like my wardrobe is generally uh, gray and black, so I have a gray shirt and I'm putting black stuff on to make it more interesting. <laughs> Look, I'm working with my color palette. No court would convict you. <laughs> no crimes here. But yeah, I can show you. Actually, I can show you. I have a fabric art over here. I can show you. You want um, face camera? Yes, please. Do, oh. Do, do. oh. So I did this one. And I just like, it's on a canvas. Like I glued it to a canvas, but it doesn't have to be. So that's the kind of thing that I like to do. Yeah. Yep, just in the tank thinking about stuff now. <laughs> Our future art projects. Our future. Oh, that's what I should have done. I have a an art book for Kiki's Delivery Service, and that probably has Ooh. some great landscapes in it. Oh, gosh, yeah. Yeah. We could just revisit landscapes. Yeah. Yep. Landscapes part two. Ghibli Boogaloo. Yes. I was like, tagline, tagline, come on. <laughs> Landscapes to the streets. <laughs> Landscapes too furious. Two landscapes, two furious. <laughs> it's the little things. Yes. I got so distracted with this camera thing that I am like forgetting my whole like process now. It's fine. Well, you could talk it through. It'd be like, I start on the left. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, I started working a lot with the charcoal pencil a lot more, and it's, it's now it just feels really dark. Right. I don't know. I haven't thought about, although the, the water is so dark. I think that's the thing. Like, I want working with black and white. You have to really get the shading and like it's the, the only the, thing 
Yeah, because that's all you have. So, um, sorry, I lost my words again. Um, so, yeah, I always struggle with making the dark, like, dark enough. Yep. Yeah, I got pinged on that, or dinged on that, rather, in high school a bunch. Just, like, doing um, studies of objects. And then mm. just not... Not really getting the shading. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because you really gotta, like have a full gradient from you know black to white to really get everything in there I think the other thing is like my more recent drawings I've been doing trees with uh like fine liner pens and not with pencils so right. I'm like trying to use the same technique and it's not working because it's a pencil and not a pen I threw myself off is the is the moral of the story rip Figure I could do a little bit of inking on my on my barnacle rocks. Mm, okay. So maybe that'll make it. I don't know. Pop more cohesive. I don't know. Yeah. Highlight those barnacles. Highlight the barnacles. Just make those darks darker. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Oh, you found the Tetris bag was DB8? 2014. Years ago. Yeah. Okay. I think I did the double clicks bag first. So that must have been 2013. Wow. I didn't realize it was that long ago. Time flies. Yeah, that's for sure. Wow. Yeah, I'm sure I have tons of photos of all of those things because I took a lot of in progress and finished photos. Mm -hmm. But I don't know they're there are they're available, just not like readily available. But those were fun projects to do. Oh, I did remember correctly. Double clicks bag was 2013. Hey. Yay. Good job, brain. You did the thing. <laughs> Thank you for looking that up. Yes, yeah, okay.
Have you done sewing? Me? On, on, on this? Slip? Uh, no. Yeah. Mm. I, I haven't really done any sewing since um, like junior high. Oh, okay. Other than like very quick repairs. Mm -hmm. Just fix a seam or something. I like the art projects that I would do because they didn't have to be like, with the exception of like one or two that I did that were like recreations of something. It was just kind of like take some little scraps of fabric and make it look like something else. Yeah. I think the hardest one I did was the Ray and BB-8 one because that was a direct like movie still. Yeah. And um, BB-8's got lots of little parts. Yes. <laughs> so that was that was interesting to try and uh, try and do. But Can't sew horses club. Mm. You wouldn't sew a horse. Can't say that I've tried to sew a horse. Well, if you can sew a horse, you can sew a ball. <laughs> I assume. Probably works like that. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I think uh the the greater contrast with the, the, the pen helped a bit. Yeah. 
definitely helps kind of highlight some areas. Yeah. And make those barnacles shine. Yeah. But I think we are basically at the end here. So. Here's your progress. Here's me on my my cypress trees. Cypress trees. And then uh yeah. Rocks. And pretend this is ocean. It's ocean. It's it looks ocean. like water. Yeah. 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 So thank you for, for joining me today, Katrina. Um Thanks for having me, Corey. Here's where we tell people how to find you outside of Horse Club. Oh, outside of Horse Club. Yes. Uh, I I can Where be uh, found on Instagram at Rare Sea Cat. Uh, I'm Rare Sea Cat on other things, but I mainly use Instagram and uh, uh, Mastodon. So Are you on I'm the, there. The I post... Kind dot social. Yes, I'm on the Kind dot social. Um, I will post drawings and other random things that mm -hmm. I get up to, but. If you if you do post to Insta, then uh, hashtag Can't Draw Horses Club. We'll do. We'll do. <laughs> um, and uh, I'd also like to thank uh, everyone who supports Loading Ready Run through patreoncom slash run or Twitch or YouTube or eyeballs, the eyeballs thing, where you you gaze upon the glowing screen. That's helpful. Upon our glorious landscape crimes. <laughs> All right. That's it for today. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.